You're watching Good Morning Wyoming. Welcome back. We're here with Jason Laird from Rising Lotus Wellness Center for our wellness segment. He's here to talk about how to prevent and treat acid reflux, and we're also going to talk about other digestive problems. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thanks, Jack. Can you tell us a little bit about, um, at, I guess, this topic? Because I know you said you've seen a lot of it lately, and people are really interested in it. Yeah, acid reflux medications are a multi-billion you know, billion dollar a year business, so I see quite a few people that come in and really have a lot of digestive problems, either IBS, where they have that irritable bowel, they eat and then they just have to go to the bathroom right away or constant acid reflux mm -hmm. some people have to they you know have to sleep sitting up which is you know just you just don't get as good of sleep that way so no. I'm able to treat this actually usually within one to four treatments and just eliminate it most people you know um, don't have to take either as much medication or don't have to take it at, at all so wow. we can treat basically um, like we've talked about the food allergies and things we can treat the foods themselves, so people have re reactions to certain foods, but then a lot of people can actually have a uh, reaction to their own acid production. Okay. And so, you know, if, if people have a reaction and their body is sensitive to that reaction, we can actually treat that. Well, what causes acid reflux? Well, from a Chinese medicine perspective, there's a couple of different causes. Uh, the liver, if the liver, especially if there's a lot of heat, so right now I'm seeing a lot more digestive problems because the heat outside is worse and so the heat from a Chinese perspective can actually enter your body from the outside mm -hmm. so that's where you get really hot when you're playing sports and things like that or even just walking around and that agitates the liver and so especially at night the liver is supposed to be soothed and at night it has a lot of more tendency to kind of raise up so the liver energy raises up and then you have that burning. That burning. And of course the stomach you know stomach <laughs> and things like that if there's excess heat in the stomach um, that's from a Chinese perspective. You actually clear heat and things like that. Hmm, interesting. So what is the treatment like? Then? Well, there's a couple of different ways we can do it. I actually brought in a book. This is the most popular book in the clinic, and mm -hmm. it's the Tongue Book. And wanna... this one here? Yeah, yeah, that one. And so the Tongue Book, um, if you, when I do a diagnosis by tongue, mm -hmm. a normal tongue is supposed to be sort of a uh, pale, sort of reddish pink. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times people can have different things. So there's teeth marks, which shows um, that there's some spleen deficiency. There's some, certain things like red tips. So if you can, if you look at certain people's tongues, you know, I brought a few examples yeah. of tongues here. I don't know which camera's going to catch it or not. Yeah, we can't really see it. But you know, there's certain things with people that by looking at their tongues, I can tell exactly the state of their internal organs. So what are some examples of? of things that are wrong with your tongue that you can, you can kind of tell with your... Well, like I said, teeth marks, so those, that shows a spleen deficiency. So people who are tired, people who have loose bowel movements, people who have easy, they eat bruise easily, those usually show up with that kind of a tongue. A red tongue, sort of, especially on the tip, is the heart part of the tongue. And so people with insomnia, people with certain kind of mental, emotional problems. And then there's coatings on the tongue, so a, a thick white coating or a thick yellow coating, especially a thick yellow shows sort of dampness or, and heat. So people mm -hmm. that, are, that have weight issues or if they have the IBS and problems with their, with their bowels really show up on that. Wow. And so we can treat um, not only the, like we said before, the, the reactions to certain foods, but um, you know, acid waste. I had one lady, it was really interesting, she, I gave her a treatment for acid waste and she, was, she had the flu for about a week and we, I, we kind of thought it was a coincidence, but then we talked and she said, you know, I forgot I had a ruptured appendix for four days and didn't know it. So when, and when they finally treated that, all that toxicity was in her abdomen. Whoa. And when we treated it, the body just released it and she said I, she feels uh, the best she's ever felt. So, wow! In Amazing. fact, her interview is on our on our website. So, very cool. Do you have any other examples of people? Yeah, we treated? yeah we've had I had a, a little a little boy one time who just he couldn't sleep. His mom was just really you know concerned about him, and they were on antibiotics, they were on steroids, mm -hmm. and it turns out that he was uh, allergic to protein. Huh. So he had a, he had a sensitivity to this protein, and so pretty much everything he ate caused him trouble. So we treated him for the protein and really had a, a major effect for them. So, mm -hmm. and I've just noticed a lot of people really have benefits and just, you know, when, you're, when your stomach hurts, your whole world hurts. So oh, yeah. by treating, you know, you can have a leg pain, that's one thing, but if, you're at, if your insides hurt, you know, that's just misery. So we can, we can help eliminate that. Absolutely. Well, if you are interested in talking with Jason or making an appointment with him, give him a call, 577-6333. You can also go on to his website, risinglotus.net. And I was going to mention one thing, too. We're looking for a nurse to take over some of our 
some of our treatments. So if there's any okay. nurses out there, so. So any nurses who are looking for a job, give Jason a call once again. It's 577-6333. And thanks so much for being with us. And thanks, we'll Jack. You, you bet. Great. Okay, well, this will be back after the break.